Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little polar bear. For this tutorial, you're going to need cream and red plush yarn, 12 millimeter security eyes, one inch size nose, black double knit yarn for the mouth and the eyebrows. I'm going to be working this with a five millimeter crochet hook. In addition to this, you're going to need stitch marker, fiber fill, pair of scissors and a darning needle. So make sure you've got all of those components. Now, if you enjoy watching my tutorial, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. We're going to start working on the legs for this. We're going to work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer and chain two. From here, you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one two, three, four, five, and here's my sixth one. Pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This should bring your stitches nice and close together and you can start working in a spiral. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of this round. Pull up a loop from there to work your first single crochet of round two. Going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet in the same stitch. Now when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. We're going to be working six increases in this round. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth. And my final increase number six. This should bring your stitch count to 12. Now from here you're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's one, two. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. If you don't have one of these you can use a scrap yarn or even a paper clip for uh, identifying this. Here's my third single crochet. Follow this on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. Get to this point and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 15. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 15 single crochets in a row. At the end of one round of single crochet, stitch count is still 15. Let's start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. And that's one, two, and three. Follow this on with a decrease. Now when we're working a decrease, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. You should be able to fit this combination two more times. Go ahead and do that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 12. Let's start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. That's one, two, stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And repeat this combination all the way around. It's two single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be nine. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need nine single crochets. After that, you're going to follow the same method three more times to have four rounds of single crochet all together. Now, as you can see, the gap is decreasing in size and you are going to gain length on this leg. So make sure to stuff this part of the leg with fiber fill and then continue stuffing as you're working those rounds. So go ahead, work those rounds, stuff the leg with fiber fill and then meet me back here. At the end of four rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be nine. 
Now, make sure that you filled the leg up with fiber fill all the way to the top. And now we're going to be working one row of stitches to close the gap off. So we're going to pinch the top, so fold the leg flat, and we're going to slip our hook in the first stitch here. Make it go through the stitches at the back as well, like this. Make sure to catch the full stitch like this and yarn over, pull up a loop and work your first single crochet in this stitch. We're going to repeat that to make it, uh, make four stitches across the top. So here's my second, third and the final one, stitch number four. And once you have your four single crochets in a row, you're going to chain one. Let's go ahead and slip this yarn off. Pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Now this completes one of our legs. You're going to follow the same instructions and make another one of these. Now onto the arms and for this let's grab our white yarn and work a slip knot, chain two, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. And that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have your six single crochets, pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now let's start round two. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work your first single crochet there. I'm going to be using a stitch marker to start identifying the start of my each rounds. And we're going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. So we're going to have that same combination repeated two more times. That's one single crochet, followed on with another increase. And one more time, single crochet, and in the last stitch, an increase. This brings your stitch count to nine. We're going to now start round three by working a single crochet in our first stitch, we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you worked your nine single crochets, you're going to start round four and in here you're going to begin by working a single crochet in your first stitch and we're going to be working a few decreases in this round. So to work the decreases you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same after in the stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That's my first time. I'm going to turn this arm the right way around and stuff this tail inside so we can start keep keep working on these stitches. One single crochet followed on with a decrease one more time. Single crochet follows on with another decrease. Now this brings your stitch count back to six. From here you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place, Going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need six single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to repeat the method four more times to have five rounds of single crochet all together. Now, as this gap is quite small, I would suggest for you to fill this part of the arm up very well with fibre fill. Continue working those five rounds and then stuff as you go along. Don't leave two rounds on the top empty so we don't want to stuff all the way to the top but three quarters of the way. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet. This is what the arm should look like. Now we're going to fold the arm flat and work three single crochets across the top. Slip your hook in the next stitch, make it come out from the stitch at the back. Now if I pull this apart you can see I've made my way through the front and back. Work your first single crochet there. Move on one more stitch and work second and just like this. Let's work three single crochets all together. 
And once we've done that, you're going to chain one, snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch, and pull this down to secure it in place. And that completes the arm of this polar bear. Go ahead and make another one of these. Go ahead and make another one of these. Now onto the body end for this. Let's go ahead and start the same way as the other components with a slip knot. Chain two. From here, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. From here, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now this should bring your stitches nice and close together. You're going to be working six increases in round two. That's my first increase. Second increase. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And my final one, increase number six. Now this should bring your stitch count to 12. From here you're going to start by start round three by working a single crochet in your first stitch. Stitch marker in place now. And from here you're going to follow this on with an increase. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. And a single crochet in the stitch after that. And here's your combination for this round. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat the combination all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my second and the third one, followed on with an increase. And this is your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now we're going to be connecting the legs onto the body in this round. So let's grab the first leg, hold the stitches right next to the uh, body. So the top part of the leg is going to be directly next to the stitches. From here, you're going to slip your hook in the first stitch on top of the leg and make the hook come out from the next stitch on the body. Pull up a loop, work your first single crochet. Next stitch on the leg, next stitch on the body. That's two, three, and the final one, four. Once you have your four single crochets, you're going to grab this little tail, move it out of the way, and then from here you're going to continue working your stitches. You're going to have ten single crochets in a row. One, two, nine, and ten. Let's grab the second leg, hold it across the top here, so move the tail end out of the way, and slip your hook in the first stitch of the leg, and make it go through the next stitch on the body. And work four single crochets connecting the two things. One, two, three, and my fourth one is right here. Once you work that, you should be left with 12 stitches, and we're going to be working a single crochet in each of those. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 
seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and my final one, number twelve. And this should bring us to the end of this round. Stitch count should still be 30. Now, for the next round, we're going to start by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to be following the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 30 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method one more time to have two rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. Let's start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. We're going to follow that on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch, followed by a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 24 single crochet in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method one more time to have two rounds of just single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, stitch count is still 24. Let's start the next round by working four single crochets in a row. That's one, two, three, four. Stitch marker back in place. One, two, three, four. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 20. Let's start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need 20 single crochets. At the end of this round of single crochet, stitch count is still 20. Now we are going to be sewing or attaching the arms onto this body as well. So we're going to begin by working two single crochets so that when we attach the arm, it's in line with the leg. Let's grab the arm now and let's put the stitch marker on first. Grab the arm, hold it across the top as we did with the leg. Make sure that it's in line with the leg, it certainly is here. And from here, you're going to slip your knee uh, hook into the first stitch on the arm, make it go through the next stitch on the body. That's my first single crochet across both of those things. Second. And my third one. And let's pull that through. Now, once you work that, you're going to work seven single crochets in a row. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Grab the second arm as well now. Hold it across the top of the stitches. Sew it together by slipping your hook in the uh, the first stitch here, make it go through the stitches on the body as well. First single crochet, second single crochet, and the third one here. And now you should be left with about five stitches in um, to the end, and we're going to be working a single crochet in every one of those. That's one two, three, four, and five. Your stitch count should still be 20 at this point. Now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. That's one, two, and three. Stitch marker back in place. 
Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an, uh, a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 16. Let's start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. One, two, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 12. Now this finishes the body of this polar bear. From here we're going to start working on the head and we are going to um, go ahead and fill this um, body up with fibre fill in a minute. So I'll show you exactly how to do the next round. I'm going to start calling this round one. So round one on the body, on the head, you're going to start by working an increase in your first stitch. And from here, you're going to be working an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So in total, you're going to have 12 increases in a row. Go ahead and work that, fill this body up with fibre fill and meet me back here. After working 12 increases, your stitch count should be 24. Now on to round two of the head. And for this, you're going to work three single crochets in a row. That's one, two, three, followed on with an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in that same stitch there. And here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. You're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 30 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same method six times all together to have six rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of six rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. Now, before we continue with the next round, we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into the head. And you're going to be doing this between round six and seven from the neck. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and have about five to six stitches in between. So go ahead and do that, and then we will continue with the next round. So for this, you're going to work three single crochets in a row. Okay, that's two, three, followed on with a decrease. So slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with a stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with two single crochets in a row. One, two, and we're going to follow this on with a decrease. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And repeat this combination all the way around to finish this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 18. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with a decrease. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Now, as you can see, the gap between our stitches here is decreasing with every single round. So make sure to fill this up with some fibre fill and complete this round by repeating this combination and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 12. Now, this is our last round to finish the gap between the stitches. So make sure you've stuffed this head nice and well. And then we're going to be working six decreases in a row. Here's first one. Second. Third. fourth fifth and my final one decrease number six now 
Now you'll notice that there is still a tiny little gap left between the stitches. You can finish this off by working one more decrease and working a slip stitch in the opposite direction. Or you could use your darning needle to stitch this up. I'm going to be working one more decrease. Followed on with a slip stitch in the opposite direction. And once we've done that, you're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull it out and pull this down to secure it in place. And from here, you're going to slip your needle from further away or hook from further away. Make it come out from that same stitch. Yarn this loop, uh, loop this yarn over to your hook and pull this into the head. And there we go. That completes the head, body, arms and legs of this bear. Onto the muzzle and let's start the same way as all the other components. That's by working a slip knot, chain two, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five and six. Pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap. And... Start round two by working an increase in your first single crochet of your previous round. And follow this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches. So in total, six increases. That's my increase number three. Number four. Number five and final one number six now this should bring your stitch count to 12. from here you're going to slip your um, hook into the next stitch to work up a single crochet let's put the stitch marker back on and we're going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around in total, you're going to need 12 single crochets to finish this round. Last two stitches. And there we go. Once you work that, you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail which we will use to sew this muzzle onto the head, onto the face rather, and turn this the right way around. You're going to stuff this up with some fiber fill before you stitch this on. Now I'm going to be attaching the nose onto this muzzle as well, making sure that the stitch that you finished with is facing downwards. You're going to insert this plastic nose on just above round one. So there's round one in the middle. You're going to insert this just above round one and once you're happy with the positioning you're going to put the backing on and there we go that's the muzzle complete now on to the ears and for this let's work a slip knot chain two six single crochets in the second chain from your hook three four, five, and six. Pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now we're going to be working six increases in a row, starting the first one in the first single crochet of your previous round. That's my first increase. Second. third, fourth, fifth and final one increase number six which brings your stitch count to 12. Now from here you're going to be working decreases in your stitches. So we're going to be working six decreases this time. So pull up a loop from the next stitch and same with the stitch after that. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That's one, two, three, 
three, four, two more, five, and the final one, number six. And once you worked your six decreases, this is what the ear should look like at this point. Now make sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one side and we're going to slip our hook in the next stitch. Make it come out from the stitch at the back, pull up a loop, make this loop go through the loop that's already on your hook. That's one. So we're going to be working three slip stitches across. Here's number two and the final one, three. Chain one. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. And this completes one of these. You're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Now onto the tail. And we're starting exactly the same way again. Slip knot, chain two, skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull on this bit to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, you're going to work one single crochet in your first stitch, followed on with an increase. We're going to be repeating this combination three times all together. So here's my second time, one single crochet followed on with an increase. And for the final time, one single crochet followed on with an increase again. And this brings your stitch count to nine. Let's turn it the right way around. And we're going to now work our final round and Let's close this gap off because it seems to be a little bit open. That's better. And from here, you're going to start your final round by working a single crochet in your first stitch. And this time you're going to be working a decrease in the next stitch. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Let's repeat the same process two more times. That's one single crochet followed on with a decrease for the second time and final time one single crochet followed on with final decrease and there we go once you've done that you're going to work a slip knot or slip stitch rather in the next stitch and Snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Tuck this tail end inside uh, this tail and you're going to be stitching this onto the bottom of the bear. Now onto the scarf and for this let's grab some red yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain 50. 1, 2, 3, 48, 49, 50. Once you have your 50 chains, you're going to start round one by skipping your first two chains and working a half double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Yarn over, slip your hook into the third chain stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of these in one go. That's your first half double crochet. Let's show you one more time. Yarn over, slip your hook in the next chain stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three of these stitches in one go. And just like this, you're going to be working a half double crochet in all of these stitches all the way to the end. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. Once you finish working half double crochets all the way to the end of these stitches, you're going to chain one. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull it out of the stitch and pull this up to secure this in place. Now you're going to use your darning needles to work this these strands into your stitches going backwards like this. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. Now onto the assembly and we're going to start off with the muzzle. Let's go, go ahead and grab some fiber fill 
and stuff this muzzle up with that and from here you're going to make sure that the stitch that we finished with is facing downwards and you're going to position the muzzle directly in the middle of the eyes like this so keeping the top part of the muzzle in line with the eye we're going to sew the two components together and we're going to do this by catching one stitch on the muzzle and one stitch on the body or the face rather slip this through and catch the stitch on the face one stitch on the face now onto the muzzle face muzzle and just like this you're going to make your way all the way around and meet me back here i've now made my way all the way around let's go ahead and catch the last stitch and once you've done that you're going to catch one stitch just on the muzzle create a loop with your yarn slip your needle through it and pull this down to create a knot in place and once that's done it's going to make your yarn secure slip your uh, needle back into that same stitch make it go through some fiber fill come out from another side and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull this out if we got pulled in a bit and there we go that's the nose complete we're now going to move on to the ears and for this we're going to be sewing this so here's the center of the head there's round two we're going to be stitching the corner of the ear just after round two like this so just the edge of the ear is going to be after round two one two and just here is where we are going to secure it like this so once you've secured the side of the ear you're going to make the ear go flat lay it so that it's straight down the side of the face and you're going to sew one stitch at a time on the face or the head should i say and the ear itself like this make your way all the way across and go through the last stitch a couple of times so it's nice and secure and once you're happy with it we're going to create a loop slip this needle in the loop and pull this down to create a knot in place again slip this needle back inside that same stitch go through some fiber fill make the needle come out from another side of the head snip it off and that give the head a little squeeze so fiber fill is distributed evenly and that attaches one ear go ahead and follow the same instructions and attach the other ear on as well and then meet me back here ears are now on now on to the eyebrows and the little detail of the mouth for for this you're going to uh, thread your darning needle with black yarn slip your needle from some uh, anywhere really and make it come out from where you would like to outline the eyebrows now at this point you um, can use one of these pins to insert and identify exactly where you want the eyebrows to be well, if you do that it allows you to uh, move these easily and uh, make sure that the the eyebrows are symmetrical and once you're happy with the positioning you're going to go with your needle and insert it so it's coming out from where i want it to and we're going to insert it just where the pin is coming out from i'm going to move it to the other side to the head of the other pin and where's that gone and that's it so pull this in and from here i'm going to slip it in where the end of the needle is coming out so once you've done that you're going to take the pins out move it move it aside and now i'm going to guide this needle to come out from where we started so just the same place here so pull this in give the whole head a little squeeze so nothing is getting uh, pulled too hard and the eyebrows are in the perfect position where they need to be and once you're happy with that you're going to tie a little knot between these two bits of yarn like 
this and we are going to snip this off slip your needle from further away make it come out from that same stitch where we've just finished yarn those two loops onto your hook and pull the bits in into the head and there we go there's the eyebrows done moving on to the mouth and for this i'm going to grab some more black yarn thread it into darning needle slip it right at the base of the nose almost going backwards like on the top catch that stitch from there make it make the needle so insert the needle from the top make it come out at the base of the muzzle pull it in and from here i can move this around the nose because by doing that you won't see the separation between the white and the nose so from here i'm going to go ahead and tie a knot between these two bits like this and once we have done that let's go ahead and snip them off nice and short not too short but short enough to get pulled into the stitches so slip your uh, hook from further away make it come out from that same stitch where we've just finished loop your yarn onto your hook and pull it in all the way inside the head and there we are once that's done let's turn the nose and that completes the facial features of this little bear moving on to the tail and for this we're going to grab the tail turn the bear over and we're going to be stitching this right in line with the legs so this is the round where the legs were inserted um, or stitched on we're going to be uh, attaching the tail right in the middle of the those two legs so holding that in place you're going to catch one stitch on the body and one stitch on the tail i'm not going to be stuffing my tail because it's only tiny and it's got a little um, thread inside anyway so but feel free to fill um, the stuff your the tail that you have if you wish to And once we've made our way all the way around, you're going to catch one stitch like this, create a loop with your thread, slip your needle through and pull this down to secure it in place. Slip your needle back inside that same stitch, guide it to go through some fibre fill, come out from another side, pull it out and let's go ahead and snip this off. And the tail is now attached. Let's give all of this a little squeeze so it retains its original shape and there we go now i'm going to zoom out a little bit for you and we are now going to grab the um, scarf the red scarf that we made we're going to wrap it around the neck like this and we want to position it sideways so almost like this so to be able to do this you're going to make this bit a little bit longer and loop it around that this side of the scarf and pull it down and just like this you're going to just tie a little knot in place to finish this off and there we have it this finishes our little polar bear if you enjoyed making this little polar bear with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching